Ah, ano kayang plano? Saturday siya pwede, no? Si Romilet ang ano niya eh. Kausap niya eh. Sabi mm-hmm. daw ako. Saturday. Oo. Nagsabi na rin ako dun sa admin. Kay ano. <coughs> back to work na kasi siya. Yung schedule niya. Conflict. Mm-mm. Kaya ayun po. So, ayun po. Mag-start na tayo. Uh, mag-pray muna tayo para dara-daracho yung ano natin at maintindihan natin. <laughs> uh, our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much again for the presence of the learners, oh God. Thank you so much for bringing them, oh God. Thank you for giving them courage and and um, effort, oh God, na talagang matuto po sila, Panginoon. Bless them continually, oh God, that um, ma-reach po nila yung panilang goal at saka makapag-serve po sila sa kapwa nila, Panginoon. And I pray, Lord, as we have this uh, 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 meeting in Zoom, oh God, uh, may you guide each and every one of us. Help me in, my, in conveying the knowledge to them, oh God. And absorb po nila. And po, um, Tulungan mo po kaming lahat uh, na sana po ang environment po namin ay sumasang-ayon sa amin at wala mga disturbances, oh God, at lalo na, 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 na po sa aming mga gadgets, oh God, at saka yung mga wala pa po sa uh, aming meeting, ikaw na po bahala sa aming Panginoon at sana para patigin mo rin po sa lahat. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hi! Teacher Glo! Ano natin. And then by next week, uh, finals na natin. Magre-review na lang tayo sa mga topics na mga ano natin. Tapos ngayon, kailangan po i-share sa inyo yung ano, um, uh, ano, uh, ma- nawawala ako, sa, uh, medication management. Oo, kasi importante yun sa ating uh, work. In case na ano, Uh, matapos tayo, siyempre imamanage natin yung patient natin uh, for them to um, para malaman nila kung paano anong gagawin natin pag mag ano, tayo ng medicine. Sandali lang, hi, share ko lang po yung ano, yung uh, mga kailangan natin. So, uh, our topic for today is medication administration or management. How you will manage patient uh, uh, for their medication. Now, our learning objective for this uh, medication management is to complete this chapter uh, and uh, the learner must be able to do the following. You can define the key terms, especially for the medications. You can discuss uh, important concepts related to the safe and effective uh, uh, administration of medication. You will be able to describe the various factors that affect action of drugs of individuals per patient. And uh, you have to discuss the legal implications connected to the medication administration. And then it's also, you could list the common abbreviation na you could usually see in the um, file of the patient, uh, the abbreviation used in relation to administration the medication. You will be able to understand uh, the calculation of drug and develop knowledge regarding and medication and assessment. Now, um, introduction for uh, this one is administration of medication is a basic nursing function or any health care uh, which is involves uh, knowledge and skills the safe it is the safe and accurate administration it is the most important responsibility of a nurse or in health team it's improper administration that can be harm, 
harmful and it has an effect. There are some basic uh, points regarding of the drugs that we have uh, uh, to know. It's regarding the name of the drug, the classification, uh, the route and the time of administration, principle of drug, the dosage, medication, uh, medication standard, and types and forms of the drug. And uh, this one, we will discuss it as we go through. Now, uh, it is also important the source of information about the medication. It is also you will be able to know the system of medication distribution and uh, the medic medication order also. The importance of medication order from the doctors and other uh, health teams, the prescription and non-prescription medication. It is also about the weight and measurement of the medication that you have to administer or you have to assist the patient uh, for them to take. And uh, the preparation of solution and calculation also, uh, storing of medication, factors affecting safety, and uh, abbreviation and symbols that they are using in the hospitals if you are being, uh, uh, working in the hospitals and even in a, uh, house, a house case or even in a home care. Uh, rules of administration, legal aspect, nursing practice, arts, the client's right, and also the institutional policies and also about your nurse's rule or even the uh, nursing aid rule. Because when we, we will be out, pag wala na po tayo dun sa ano po, na pag nasa hospital na tayo o kaya nasa, lalong lalo na po pag nasa house case tayo, tayo ang magbibigay ng pag ng gamot ng patient natin. So we have to know what kind of medication that we are giving to them, what is the action, what is the adverse effect, what is the um, therapeutic effect yes. of the patient. That gamot ay binibigay mo. Now, we have to discuss now, what is the meaning of a drug? It is any sub substance alter physiologic function with potential of affecting our health. So um, any drugs that any substance that we have to take in, it may have an effect for our uh, physical body and our system. So pag nag-take ka noon, it's either it can cause a therapeutic, gagaling ka, or it can cause you pain or anything, now which is potential that will affect our body. And the medication also, it is any substance that is di uh, used for diagnosis, for treatment, a cure, relief, or prevention of health and health alteration. So a medication, I, it is designed for the, if you are diagnosed like for, for uh, diabetes, um, so the medication that they will give for you is a, a medicine for diabetes. Or if you have any migraine, any cancer like that, so you will be giving a, a, a medicine for treatment to cure for cancer or if you are in pain, they will give you a medication which is uh, to relieve pain or anything that uh, prevents a um, health problem or any alteration. So uh, well understood naman po yung definition ng drug at saka yung medication, di po ba? Okay lang. Pag may question, uh, sabihan na lang niyo <laughs> mag magbreak po kayo ha. Ibit niyo ako, okay? Uh, now we have the names of drug. Drug can be known in different or several terms or several names. Uh, number one is that uh, you will know the drug by its chemical name. It is known by a chemist. It indicate the ingredient of the drug. It identifies identifies the molecular structure. Like for example, your ibuprofen, uh, which is ibuprofen is anti-inflammatory. O yung uh, kadalasan pag nagbibigay sila for, um, it's just like, a, what they call this one, parang pain reliever. Kung ano yung function ng, ano, uh, function ng gamot na yun. And it's also, uh, number two, it's just a generic name. It is also assigned by manufacturer who first developed the drug and assigned by the United States and adopted to the 
adopted name council. It is derived from chemical name, like for example, yung morphine sulfate, morphine sulfate, um, I, um, which is um, ibuprofen. Uh, ang generic name kasi uh, it is usually came from the manufacturer. And it is cheaper uh, medicine that uh, um, we have to buy from the pharmacy. And then number three is that the official name. Yeah. Official name, which is it is assigned by the Food and Drug Administra Administration after the approval of the drug name. It is also often same as generic name. So, uh, yung official name is also the same as generic name. But the number four is that uh, trade name, it is assigned by manufacturer and it's copyrighted, meaning to say, ayun ay talagang uh, tatak nila. Uh, one drug that may manufacture by several companies, like for example, um, sa isang, ano, isang company, if they have this like uh, uh, paracetamol, pwedeng kalpol, uh, yung uh, Yung pag sinabi mong Calpol, it's only one company who have this one. But it's, it's pare, pareho lang sila ng ano, pare-pareho lang sila ng function but it, it's also may trade din. Kumbaga sa ano, may, may pangalan siya. Uh, somebody okay. holding for the quality and then it's copyrighted on and manifact one company. So, yung paracetamol, yung crocine, katulad ng Lipitor, mga ganon, ah, uh, May mga, it's trade company. Pag uh, bibili ako ng ano, imbes sa sasabihin mo na kailangan ko ng ano, pag sasabi mo ng, uh, sasabihin mo ng paracetamol. Maraming klase ng paracetamol na ano, it's either yung alcohol, o kalagang yung mga, yeah, parang, uh, katulad ng ano ba yun, yung ini, um, panadol, panadol, ganun, panadol, ganun. So, uh, may trade name siya. Ayun po. Yung official yung official name teacher, for example, Apo. ano yan? Pfizer, ganun po ba yun? Um, ay, yung, yan? Ano, yung official na? name is it's the same, just a generic name. Uh, kumbaga, ito ay, it is approved already by the Food uh, food and Drug Administration. Uh, after ng approval niya, yun ang official name na niya. So, it can be, pag once na naging official name na niya, pwede ka nang mag-produce noon with your trade, uh, trade name and name. Sa, some company, some same company na sila na ang magbibigay. Basta na-approve na yung gamot na yun, may company na pwedeng uh, mag, um, kumbaga, eh, mag-distribute na nun. Uh, mag-distribute na nun. Kung saan dito yung magiging ano, ma'am? Kaya lang, ang trade ma name kasi siya. Kalimaw ako nito, ma'am. Kalimaw dito yung ano. Opo. So, ano, ano dito yung trade name, ma'am? Ano yung Jason? For example. Ah, glucophage. So, ano dito yung trade name? Ito. Ah, malabi na ko eh. Ayun, ano? Parang yung manufacturer? Hindi kaya. Manufacturer name? Hindi. Ang, uh, ang glucophage, ayun yung trade name. Glucophage uh -huh. is the trade name. Yung nasa baba niya, metformin, ayun yung ano. Chemical. Ayun yung ano niya, uh, generic Chemical name. Chemical name, generic name. Oo, ayun yung uh, official. Yun, uh, yun yung official name niya, generic name niya. Ah, uh, akala ko po kasi teacher, ang generic name. Ano ba ba po generic name? Yung... Same lang ng dosage, iba lang yung pangalan na ginamit. Pero parehas lang naman yung dosage. Kasi for example, yung Pfizer. Oo, oh, 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 ganun din. Pero, pero yung, yung nga lang kasi, Eric ni... Uh, kung mag-produce ka ng tab for... Uh, uh, like for example, uh, for pain reliever. So, mwari, uh, ibuprofen for all lahat yun. Pero nag-iiba lang yan. Once na it's naging official na siya, tapos there is a company or manufacturer na gusto nilang mag-reproduce ng isang, uh, ng, ng, uh, like for example, uh, this up, I propose him, uh, lalagyan nila ng trade name. So, ang gagawin na, na nilang, ay gagawin na nilang, ano, 
Panadol, mga ganun ba? Hindi na yung ano, hindi na yung pinakaano niya, uh, pangalan niya na ano. Like for Pero example, yung dosage niya same lang naman po. Oh, same lang din ang dosage niya. Pare-pareho lang ng dosage niya. Yung nga lang kasi ano, uh, depende lang sa stress ng ano, ng uh, kumbaga sa trade name. Yun lang. Pero pareho lang sila. Pero ang sabi nila mas maganda daw yung ano, um, may, may trade Branded. name. Trade, trade name. Branded. Branded. Yung okay, trade name kasi kumbaga oh, eh, Pero mahal. Siya. Mahal. Kasi parang may binabayaran mahal yung, yung trade name, no? Oo, oh, oh, yung pangalan ng binabayaran mo. Yung branded. Ayan po. Opo. So, klaro na po tayo. And dito lang siya. Uh, eto yung mismo yung uh, ng trade name. Yung nasa baba, ayun yung generic name. Ayun po. Kahit na sa ano, uh, kung hindi mo rin alam, ang function ng ano ng medication once na bumili ka it's here nasa leaflet nasa kahon din siya titignan mo lang siya ganyan basahin mo siya andiyan parang parang ang bintulin sa kay salbota mo halos pares lang naman yung ano niya o, pareho mahal, lang ang, pareho lang ang function pareho niya pareho lang siya pero o, mas, mas mahal, mahal yung sa ano salbutamol salbutamol mas mura ang salbot at o, salbutamol oo oo mas mura siya ayun po So, okay na po tayo? Parang ano? Sige po. <laughs> Sige. Now, there are different types of ano, a classification of drugs according to action. Uh, Nakaklassify kasi ang drug according to action, which is we have uh, different, uh, like for example, when you are in pain, so they will, the doctor will give you analgesic. Itong analgesic that is used to relieve the pain. So there are also different classification of um, uh, pain reliever. So masyado marami kasi bro dito. Iyanong ko na lang at least kung ma-encounter man kayo ng mga um, gamot, kung nakalagay doon na analgesic, uh, uh, anti-hemeltic, ganun, alam na ninyo kung para saan yun. Okay lang po? Okay lang po. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh. Now, uh, analgesic is for to relieve pain. So, binibigay relieving. Yung anesthetic naman, man yung drugs that can cause loss of pain. Uh, anesthesia, kunwari binibigay emla cream. Yung emla cream, once na ano, nakakamanhid siya. So, hindi mo na siya mararamdaman. Or even silocaine. These are the medication na nagpapamanhid ba na hindi mo na siya mararamdaman. Once na uh, injectionan ka o ano, uh, gagawan ka ng, ano, ng surgery o wound cut, ganun. Anti-imetic naman eh. <coughs> Sabi ka, teacher. And then, antipretic. Teacher, oh. sabi ka po. Oh. Sabi. Sabi, teacher. Hello. Sabi po kayo. Ano, sabi pa? And okay, okay na. Copy. Okay na? Okay, okay po. Lalabas ako sa pinuhan. Okay na? Okay. Okay so, na po. So, yung antiperetic naman, antiperetic, eto naman yung mga um, drugs that can reduce fever. Uh, kung example, uh, may lagnat ka, hihingi ka ng, ano, ng antiperetics. Kadalasan ng antiperetics, may combination din yan ng ano, um, ng uh, ng uh, pain reliever at saka yung ano um, parang paracetamol siya na pag may lagnat ka ganon isabay nun antiperetic and also antidote it is used to counteract effect of poison so ayan po yung antidote is used to counteract the effect of poison and then also we have this anti-effective uh, which is uh, acts on either to inhibit or uh, kill the microorganism. 
usually ang mga ganitong medicine it depends upon the uh, kung ano yung um, case ng patient natin kaya makakapag-encounter tayo ng different uh, types of medication. So maganda rin pag uh, may, we have a patient and then scrutinize natin yung kung ano yung medicine niya para matuto din tayo. And also, uh, anti-coagulants which inhibit or decrease the blood clotting process. So, eto kadalasan uh, ginagamit din na pini-prescribe din sa mga patient na who have this, uh, like for example, my problem about the uh, blood group or even sa mga leukemia, ganun. And antihistamine, it is used to prevent or uh, relieve allergies. Usually, pag meron tayo, ano, nagka-allergy tayo, um, pwede na tayong mag-take ng antihistamine. But the antihistamine, marami rin klase. Di ba? Meron din tayong ano, um, uh, iba't-ibang klase na tinitake, uh, kal uh, kalad, ano ba na? Celestamine, um, zizal, mga ganun ba? Depende. Kasi ngayon, uh, nag-iba na siya kasi uh, ano na yun, uh, trade name na siya. Pero kung anuhin mo, pwede kang makabili ng cheaper one, which is yung generic name. And also, we have this antacid. Usually, this antacid react with hydrochloride to decrease, act decrease activity of stomach secretion. Kadalasan ng antacid, yung mga iniinom natin pag meron tayong mga ulcer, ganun ba, maalox, ganun. So, umiinom tayo para yung ano, di ba, sinisikmura tayo, masakit ang ano, para hindi siya maging hyper, na decrease yung activity ng um, activity ng stomach natin at saka yung secretion pag secretion ng hydrochloric acid ay um, mababawasan. And then also, we have anticonvulsant. Anticonvulsant is used to prevent or to treat convulsion patient. So, I am po. Another thing is that we have also antibiotic. Yeah, and dami daming antibiotic na uh, nabibili sa uh, market right now. But uh, kagaya nga ng meron tayong generic name or we have also trade name. So it, this antibiotic, it's ability to destroy or inhibit the growth of microorganism. So dito, kumbaga, eh, na, 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 namamatay yung mga Uh, microorganism and even uh, hindi na sila ano, na namamatay na sila. Hindi na na-inhibit yung growth para dumami sila. And also we have anti-diuretics which is used to treat diarrhea. And uh, anti tusif also which is inhibit for cough reflexes. Kadalasan ng ano ang um, anti tusif um, medicine, may side effect yan sa ano, central nervous system natin. So, once na ano, nakakapag-high ba siya? Ganon. So, there are some anti also na uh, for cough also na uh, kailangan din ng prescription ng doctor but uh, uh, some are not also. And also, we have anti-asthmatic. These are drugs which uh, provide to relieve asthmatic attack by relaxing the smooth muscle and uh, bronchos. So, ibig sabihin na uh, itong uh, um, anti-asthmatic uh, medicine, when we take this one, nare-relax yung ano natin, smooth muscle natin sa ano lungs natin. So, invest na uh, nag nagkakaroon ng short and rapid uh, breathing ng patient natin, nare-relax siya. So, yung attack niya na, na, na re-relieve yung patient natin. And we have also antiseptic, which is inhibit the growth of bacteria. Pag uh, once na nag-antiseptic nag ka, yung mga bacteria, kaya nga kuminsan uh, sinasabi, pag maglagay tayo ng mga beta dyan, bago ka mag, mag, pag maglinis ka ng, ano, ng wound natin, naglalagay tayo ng antiseptic para mamatay yung bacteria. And also, we have this antifungal. This drug which prevent the growth of fungi. So, we are giving this antifungal uh, those patient na uh, mayroon silang uh, katulad ng sa mga itchiness, ganon, um, Kadalasan, uh, binibigyan natin sila ng anti-fungal. Natin meron din 